It was going again. Forcing your grandma to jaywalk and she's like, Oh no, that shit gets so long, it's I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh, there's voice acting in uh, this? Is Mark back home already? He should be in a few minutes. Do you want something to drink while waiting? No thanks. Niners, you dirty, dirty jaywalkies. Oh no! I'm gonna go with the two. Did he stop to take a big swig of his drink and then shoot more? What are those noises down there? Oh. Uh oh. Hey, I like that it has a little setup. Is this me? Am I the crime scene cleaner? Kowalski's apartment. Wait, so is this a Polish? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I crouch? That looks like Kino. That looks just like Kino. Who's a good boy? Oh, it looks just like her. No way, it looks just like her, bro. Sorry, Dexter. But it's no time Dexter. for walking. Dexter, like the murderer. The Crimson Investigator murderer. I need your services, ma'am. Son of a bitch was having an affair with my wife. So I just offed him and his entire family. The problem is I didn't really think it through, so you'll need to get rid of the surveillance footage as well. I'll send you the address over email. I just need to wash this blood off me first. That doesn't sound good, but duty calls. Wait, so are we... This sh we are shady. I thought... I was under the impression this would be like you're working with the forensics department and you have to clean up after a gnarly crime scene. We got like mafia ties or something? Oh no, does he have a dead wife? He's got the dead wife shrine. Stock dead wife photo. I wonder if he has, like, random memories of her, like, running on the beach in a, a nice dress. Or, like, l waking up in the morning and seeing her, like, under the white sheets, smiling at him. Wait, what's this? All these Polish names. Oh my god! I love the fact that this like grizzled five o'clock shadow badass dude has like TJ Maxx TJ Maxx decor in his apartment. He says to be happy, not to impress. Imagine him picking that out, just like browsing the aisles, thinking like, hmm, I need something to kind of brighten up my space. Oh, maybe put a little delightful little orchid plant on my counter. Oh, this dog. Dexter, what are you doing up, boy? Oh. Oh, that looks just like her. That's so cute. Wait, can I throw the ball? Oh, no. Whoa. You don't want to play fetch? Come on, come on. <laughs> Wait, bro, I want to see how many things... on top of the dog's head, like, uh... Get this out. I just drop this, like... Eh? <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Uh, what else do we stack? Potato? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh... An apple? Okay, the light. Oh, no! F God, no! F God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> then put this. No, f you! F I put that right there. And then, uh. Right there. Shit. I was too far away. F this is harder than I thought. 
Oh, this reminds me of Amanda the Adventurer. Have you played that one before? Wait, what is that? Amanda the Adventurer? I've never heard of that. to move the big bowl that's like a that's like a load bearing bowl right there Milk dog. Dog with the milk on his head. Milk dog. Dog with the milk. The dog with the milk on his head. Dog with the milk on his head. Yo! Look at that! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Inform the devs, Nyan has officially put Suica Game into their game. It's Suica Game. I challenge you to beat my high score. <gasps> oh. oh my god, no, that's kind of precarious. It's a little bit precarious, bro. You know how sick it would be if I could get this bull on top of... Oh. <gasps> Maybe if I don't drop it from as high. Shit, it's trembling, it's trembling, it's twitching and trembling. <gasps> okay. 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 No. No. I don't think... Is this... Maybe this bowl? Fuck. Maybe if I step back. It. There has to be a way, you guys. There's just... <gasps> oh my god! Bro! It's a little bit precarious, but it works. Do you... Okay, do we dare put one more thing like this plate? Or maybe... Oh, I wish I could get this candle. Or maybe this plant. What could I get? Beef? Tomato. Dog food! That would be cruel, though. Dad's cave? Ew. Welcome into Dad's little cave. Dad's secret special cave. Don't come down here. This is Daddy's special little workplace. I told you not to come down here. <gasps> A wine glass. Now, that would be very poetic looking. It's like a really dainty, beautiful wine glass. We're a frying pan. Is there butter in here? We can make butter dog. Or put the put the cheese. Mm, doggy bag. <gasps> Onion. Mmm. Mmm. <gasps> oh. No, there's no way this would work. It's too, it's too heavy. It's too large. They, they, I don't know. Is it worth it? Do you think we could do it? 
I don't even have to crouch anymore. It's so high. No. Oh, no, no, it's getting... Oh, God. <gasps> no! Who's a good boy? at the dog tower. Wait, what if we do... <laughs> what if we start with the toaster? Give it a good base? Toaster. Dog bowl. Then milk. Start from big to small. Biggie smalls. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, no, that's, that's, that's chill, that's chill. And then put this on top of the milk. Oh! <gasps> genius! Oh, it's genius! Super fruits. Will it work? Oh, shit! Okay, we can try again, we, tr we go again, we go again. Oh, -ho. Oh, my stars. Okay, now we pet the dog. Sorry, Dexter, but it's no time for a walk. <laughs> Do you think he'll stay like that when I go to my crime scene cleanup job and come back? All right, stay. Stay. Good, good boy. Stay. Bro, could I like throw this at? Whoa! Where did it go? <laughs> like shooting an apple off of someone's head. Oh god, it's it's fucked, it's broken. There we go. He likes it. He really, really likes it. Alright, this is the computer I'm supposed to get my jobs from. Mob for mob. He does have mob ties. Whoa, he has a book about ancient Rome. But he's been thinking about it a lot. I don't blame him. What are all these boxes? Fuck, every time I pick up something large, I want to go put it on top of the dog. Oh, come on, let's just put this paint on top of the dog. Here we go. <laughs> It fits so perfectly. I mean, it's not lead based. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Um, upcoming doctor's appointment. My daughter missed her yesterday's appointment and I find that very worrying. Oh. Someone's in trouble. Grave renovation. I know it's only been five years since your wife passed away, but the truly terrible weather combined with the high air pollution in our region speeds up the weathering of tombstones. I can offer you a 20% discount for your wife's grave renovation, so it'll only be $320? Oh, body count. Five dead bodies. 15k to clean this shit up? Oh, okay. Drive straight to King's Crossing Street, Crampton District, erase the surveillance footage. You'll need five body bags. Don't forget about that dead asshole in the basement. Make it look nice and clean and better not fuck this up. Remember, you owe us. M. What do I owe him for? M Mr. Castle? Go to the car. Wait, I don't have to drive, do I? Where's my car? <gasps> oh, he's got a nice hefty pickup. With some torque to it. House of Mr. Castle. Mm. Impulsive mobster killed a bunch of people at some rich guy's mansion. He left five bodies and plenty of evidence behind. I need to clean up his mess before the police get here. 
What if the body count was actually referring to like the sexual term and he just uh, fucked five guys and there was just splooge everywhere? Ugh. Long night. Ugh. Guess I gotta go clean up some splooge. Some mafia splooge. You know those mafia boys, they gotta let out their attention so somehow. Earning myself some Haven't you ever watched The Sopranos? Instead, it was the beginning of a hey, devastating scene of <laughs> we, we need to get some more guys in here. We need to get some more guys to come suck us off. You gotta hook up for some guys that can come suck us off. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a a Bitcoin convention. I'll get you some guys. <laughs> Time to look for the bodies. Oh, oh, a chainsaw. Ooh, axe throwing. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a way into the villa. Wait, this place looks gorgeous. They got like ancient Roman statues and shit. Why does this look kind of like a? It's like Japanese style, isn't it? It's got like that Japanese garden flair with like the, the entrance. It's like a Yakuza house. And they got bamboo! Swimming pool. Oh. Holy fuck. Bloodbath. Literally. Oh, and they got inflatable pizza and flamingos! Pink flamingos! Yay, pool party! What happens if I splash around in it? Ooh. Looks like. This is a party that you don't want to crash. Oh, that's cute. A little... little dingy. Now, how in the hell am I going to clean up this pool? Ooh. Sorry, Tony. I was having my pool party the other night and my wife had her period. You know how it is. Ooh, this is making me so hungry for pizza. But like really bad pizza from Pizza Hut. Something or other. Old budge. Looks like some kind of electronic lock. Hmm. We're gonna have to find some way to cut the power. Open codex. Stealing. The whole game revolves around collecting money for the treatment of your sick daughter. Oh, Alina. So we can just swipe some some stuff? Washing blood stains. Open up the tool wheel. Okay, okay, okay. Do I have like a hacking tool? Ooh, additional tools, axe, ozonator, detergents, lamps, buckets, pressure washer, mops, sponges. Ooh. Yes. Yes. How do I... Oh no, I have to like know how to use this? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, I strengthened it! How did I do that? What if I just take an axe and I break the glass and just go in that way? What about that? How about that? Oh, what's back here? Oh. Here it is. The Jizzernado. The Jizzernado 3000. The pool boy has a key on. The pool boy? Oh yeah, it's probably one of the dead bodies. Where would that dead body be? Let's go find out. Oops. Oops. Maybe a short circuit would do the job. Oh. Wait, should I short circuit the generator? By... Hitting it with something? Cutting the wires, maybe? Oh god, what the fuck did I pick up? Oh. Oh. That's the pool emptier. Oh. Oh, so that's how you clean up all the period blood. Is it draining? Oh, it is! Oh. Ah, we have to empty it again. So we can get all the stains on the bottom. The 
There it goes. Empty swimming pools are kind of eerie. Especially when they have blood on them. Oh, is this the pool boy? Hey, where's that freaking key? Hey, come on, man. Don't be stingy. Come on. I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle you really hard. I'm gonna punch you in the butthole. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Californians are crying on all this wasted water. They can keep crying. They can cry their fucking California tears. You know what? I take showers sometimes upwards of one hour long, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I say to that? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Is this the real Nanners? No. She actually died a few years ago. And she just sold me her model and uh, her brand and everything, and I just took over. It's been pretty sweet. Won't budge. Looks like some kind of electronic. Oh, arc. I get this. How do I pick up this body even? One shot in the back, one in the head. He didn't really stand a chance. Sound like the average Friday night. You dispose of the bodies. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not trying to be. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Am I? Am I? Uh, is that like a? Is that like a texture? Gl is that like a texture glitch? Am I crazy? Bro, look, he's got like a. Rigor mortis. Do I just throw the bodies in my truck? Can I put them in like a wood chipper? He's going Ricky Morty mode. Oh, I could chop him up with a chainsaw. Okay. Oh. No need to think. He's gone. Oh my god. Well, that's one body disposed of. Okay. We have to find a way into this villa. <gasps> Yo! B-ball! Kobe! It would have been so sick if it somehow, like, launched... Bro, if it launched from the house in the back and went in... I haven't been the same since the accident. <sighs> Fucking hate basketball! God damn it! My sick daughter, she ruined everything! God fucking damn it! Fuck! <laughs> I'm pretending this is her head and I'm gonna squeeze it really hard. Fuck! I gotta love some steam before I clean up all this blood. I have to get into like a meditative state, or else things start get, uh, to get a little freaky. Too much blood it does things to a man, you know. It does things to his mind. Oh, oh my God! You got it. You, you gotta keep me away from this. Oh my God! Do not let me near this thing. You know how I am with a big bottle of Sauvignon. Young. Oh, uh, can I have one to go, please? <laughs> What if I can punch the glass? That's like, that's finding a way. God damn it! The Mafia house, of course they have bulletproof glass. Uh... Actions? Tools? Hands? Hands are tools, I guess. Power washer... Pressure washer 1, pressure washer 2, and pre 
Why do I have to read all this shit? There's a fucking skill tree? Oh, yo. You can just listen to whatever music. Oh, you can unlock a bonds. Maybe it's just me being ADSC and having streamer brain, but any game where I have to like open up a fucking manual in the middle of the game and read how to like do shit instead of having like little like pop ups like, oh yeah, use this to do. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. I don't, I, I don't wanna fucking read. I wanna clean up blood. Ah, uh, where's my axe? Additional tools. Axe. This has to work, right? Maybe a short circuit would do the job. If I use this on the... The thingy over yonder. Oh, is this where you hook up the, the power washer? Or maybe the hose? The will be cool. Ah, fuck! Fuck! Uh... This? Fuck! No, Dark Souls tutorials are like... The perfect mode of tutorial in any game. Like the perfect presentation. You just like walk through like a little like tutorial zone and there's like little things written on the ground with like one sentence. Like, press D to do D. It's not like you have to open up a goddamn fucking like... Oh yeah, there's collectibles. Like this is too much information at once. It's like a fucking wall of text. I don't have time for that. I have things to do. I have a very busy schedule. I have to go out into my farm, collect my herbs, seasonings, collect my vegetables, get fresh organic meat, and make a dinner completely from scratch, do my hair and my makeup, put on a pretty dress, vacuum the house, dust everything, power dust everything, and I only have 20 minutes a day to play games. This game needs to respect my time more. You get the key from the pool boy? I haven't found him yet. Was that dead body... Like, is the key laying next to him somewhere? It's hard to see. What with all this blood and all? <laughs> Wait, here it is. I thought it'd be like in his pocket. Workshop key. Wait, maybe the fuse thingy is in the workshop. Over here. Ooh, oh, oh! Should open the main door. Okay. Ooh. Wait, I recognize this song. It's so beautiful. What is this? Nokia phone? Mr. Castle, can I talk to you for a second? About what? Um. You and Bianca Brenner. What are you trying to... I saw you two last night. Even took some photos. But your wife doesn't need to see him. I just... Shut up. Not here. Let's go inside. One affair too far, Mark. Damn. Coming from a guy with a dead wife? Well, that probably sounds... extra bad. You know? Imagine being a guy with a dead wife hearing about another guy cheating on his alive wife. Just like... You have it so good, bro. Your wife is alive. Why? Why cheat on her? I mean, they're all dead now. Good. Honestly, I think there should be like capital punishment for people who cheat. Like the worst kind of capital punishment, like public execution by firing squad. Talking about another man's wife when your wife is dead is cheating? Yeah, true. Keep her fucking name out of your mouth. What is this book? Re... Reworld. Let's go to Reworld! Living life in another Reworld! Pretty nice place you got here. Be a shame if somebody did some deep cleaning to it. Nice oh, Jesus. By surprise, probably had no idea somebody's after her husband. Oh my god, to make that call. Another but dead wife, huh? 
another dead wife, but it's just another Friday for me. The guy who has a dead wife. Holy shit. Is, is her head falling off or is her turtleneck just, uh... Multiple here. gunshot wounds. Uh, I hope his dead wife isn't watching from heaven right now, because if I was his dead wife, hypothetically speaking, I would be pissed. She's like, oh, so one dead wife isn't good enough for you? Hmm? You have to carry around somebody else's dead wife? I thought I was your dead wife. Oh god. Why does he have to hold her like this? Wait, I kind of want to la launch her. How far can I throw this dead wife? Not very far. <laughs> Why is <laughs> that? God, fucking damn it! I hate being a guy with a dead wife. Fuck. Okay, let's throw her again. I, I just want to see how far we can throw her. Not very far. <laughs> oh my god, her head is coming detached. Alright, rest, rest easy, Marsha. Here you go. <laughs> Knowing you. It's what his wife would have wanted. It's actually pretty good for a 130-pound body. Wait, what are you saying about her? You're saying she's 130 pounds? Lucky she's dead. She'd beat your ass if she heard you call her fat like that. I'm just kidding. That's not fat at all. That's not even near fat. Whoa, what are all these books? Sorry, my uh, my Twitter feed psyop from Elon Musk is uh, it's affecting me in strange ways. Oh, nice picture of boat. And then several books that are just boat. Boat. Ooh. They drank all that orange juice for all the vitamin C, I guess, but it didn't really help them out in the end. It's not gonna stop you from getting murdered. That's what I always say. Literally everything gives you cancer and it's bad for you. So why Jesus, worry about it? That one was tortured. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! This one wasn't enough. Ooh. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Why do all their heads look like they're falling off? I don't like that. Oh, oh god, there's like a ew, 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 ew. Was there just like a really zesty wounds. mafia guy who's just like marks. really grossed out by like bugs and blood personal. and everything? So that must be Mark. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I understood the reference. Oh. Wait, what is this strange... <gasps> Bro, look at all that cash! Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. He can throw men much further than women. Maybe he, like... I don't know, on purpose throws women more softly because he's a guy with a dead wife and he respects women. I feel like even the like the rowdiest, most disrespectful man, the second he gets dead wife syndrome, it just like I don't know. It's like a character arc. It's character development for them. Ugh. Jesus. Oh, his eyes are rolled into the back of his head. Nasty. Hopefully when I die, I don't look this bad. And every great man is a dead wife. It's true. You either die a man with a dead wife or live to be the divorced guy. You don't want to end up being Elon Musk. Oh, look at those body bags. Ugh. Get in there. Get in there, you nasty man. Bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. Honestly, I think I like this a little more than Vistra cleanup details so far. I just like the, the graphic style a bit more and I like the room? setting. Surveillance room? Hacking? Ooh, we can hack. 
Okay, okay, use computer and then... Da, 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 da. Yeah, we gotta get rid of all the surveillance footage. That's right. <gasps> Come to Papa. I'm not buying that these are like thousands of dollars. Those look like jewelry you'd get for $10 at Forever 21. Wait, what is this? So much for healthy living. What will I do to improve my life? Keep a healthy diet? Do workouts at home? Okay, focus on therapy. Remember that family time is really important. I have two great stepkids and an amazing husband. They give me a lot of strength every day. Oh, That was the dead wife's journal. He does have that, like, grizzled, uh, male protagonist voice. Shit, it's locked. Gonna have to find another way. We're trying to access a protected folder. Manual hacking or brute force hacking? Shit, what should we do? I'll try manual. Fo oh. Huh? Oh, oh, I see. I did it! Four. Oh, fuck. Two. Nine, one. I'm in. <laughs> All right, time to get rid of all of this evidence. <laughs> all footage has been deleted. It's like it never happened. <laughs> oh god, I gotta clean up all the trash? Ooh. Wait, should I do that first and then clean up the blood? I gotta, yeah, restore all the furniture too. All the furniture is so fucked up. Old fix? How do I fix this? It looks like I need some kind of specific tool for it. Unless I'm just gonna make it vibrate. Do do do. I can't put it back like that. I can't put it back like that. First things first. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Gotta scrub, scrub, first scrub. First. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. I can't put it back like that. Cleaning comes before fixing. I should clean it first. Cleaning comes before fixing. I should clean it first. Cleaning comes before fixing. Cleaning comes before fixing. First things first. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh, there's like a little thing to show where the furniture was originally. And then... Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, sh... Ah, and some spring cleaning. Doing things all nice and tidy just really clears the mind up, you know? It's hard to work when you have a, a messy space. Your, your home is like a temple of sorts. Okay, where did this chair go? Over here? Oh! I found it! Yes! Oh, yes! Where does this go? Oh, right here! Oh, I see! Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and this... Whoa, he used, like, Jedi powers! What the fuck? First. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. I should clean it first. I should clean it first. First things first, that. gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. First things first, gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. First things first, gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. I should clean it first. Cleaning comes before fixing. First things first, gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. First things first, gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. I should clean it first. I should clean it first. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Rub a dub dub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Ooh, another chair. Ooh, 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 another chair. Ooh, another chair. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Ooh, ooh, another chair. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. <gasps> a beanbag chair! I remember having these as a kid and they'd always explode and put like the little balls everywhere. The little like styrofoam balls. Ooh, what's this? Your concerns were legit. Dad had an affair and fucked the whole family by accident. Oh, uh, what? That is that is a very good way to put it. When you have an affair, you pretty much fuck your entire family, so to speak. Oh. Oh. Like metaphorically speaking, you fuck them. Fuck up their life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's put this back to its little resting place. Okay, little fella, what did you used to be? What the f 
Oh, Jesus. Why did they have to kill the entire family? For one man's mistake. I need to be careful so she doesn't. <gasps> Went all topsy turvy. <laughs> she did a flip. What? Oh my god. Don't have a key. A hatchet will do. Oh, so gruesome. Oh, what was on this laptop? Oh, stay in school, kids. Oh, I'm gonna steal this crystal skull. Three hundred dollars. Nice. Wait, is this the daughter? I'm gonna steal all her jewelry. She doesn't need it anymore. And write this counts. There we go. And the coffee table. Man, what a nice room. Put this back up. Now, where is this darn chair supposed to be? I can't figure it out for the life of me. Was it out here? Can't tell. Oh, bother. Oh, this lamp right here. Oh, get back up there. Get back in there. Get back in where you're supposed to be. Get the fuck back there. Come on, stop it. Okay, you need to be scrub, scrub, scrubbed. Put this lamp back over, over here. That looks kind of right, I think. Why is there like black ink prints over here? Oh, a ring. Nice. Oh, the, the guitar, the guitar, the guitar. Wait, can I use it? It says E, use. E? E? listen to music i just know i just don't i don't really like music i listen to like video game soundtracks so oh my god what the fuck what do we have here the impulsive gamer <laughs> this is what will happen to you if you only listen to video game soundtracks <laughs> just imagine no. playing some fps and ending up with a bullet in your head that's what I call immersion. Bro, he was playing like Dynasty Warriors or something. He was fucking like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm Boo Boo. <laughs> and then he just got shot in the head. What a compulsive gamer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait. Oh, here we go. Oh, we gotta clean up all those bullet casings. Man, why did they have to make such a mess when they killed everybody? Cow cow. I used to play... I don't remember what Dynasty Warriors game it was. One for the PS2. Had a really fun story mode and you can make like a custom character. My character was badass. She had like a dual wielding like... Swords. Which one was that? Was that Dynasty Warriors 4? I had so much fun with it. Oh, of course the bathroom is immaculate. Good old times. But now I have to deal with Jennifer's body. Oh. I like that. Any anytime there's a an option to flush the toilet in a game, I do enjoy it. This tub is huge. They have a really nice bathroom. Oh, another key, I see. Oh, that's the song that's playing. Oh, is that how you collect all the background music? I see, I see. No, 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 no. 
Okay, let's start baby steps so we don't get too overwhelmed. Oh, wait, this stool. Go back to where you fell. There we go. Guess just uh, clean up all these dirty dishes. Is there like a. Oh, yeah, garbage can. Garbage day! Oh, that is nice. Just swipe it all up. Just like that. Looks like you're cleaning up some dog doo doo. Honestly, I think the, the murderer is kind of a try-hard. It just kind of... it seems kind of show-off-y to me. There's an art to these things, you know? And this is just like... so haphazard. It's way too messy. Wait, why is this red? No. I have to empty it out? That's fucked. This is too realistic. It should be an infinite, like, bag of holding. Ooh. All these broken wine glasses. Don't mind if I do. Anything else in here? Knife my wife. Best kitchen knives ever. 25 year guarantee. Ooh. My wife? Ooh. When you're ready for something interesting, go ahead and pull out the odorizer. Oh, is that the thing that makes it easier to clean up the blood? Should I turn that on, like, before I start cleaning up all this splooge? All this viscera? It has a better purpose? Oh, the ozonator, the ozonator. Switch it to the best boys? Wait, what do you mean? Okay. Pressure washer, other tools, ozonator. This thing? Cleaning procedure started. Huh? Cleaning is my passion. Wait, 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 how do I change the voice? Well, well, well. To the domination of a world. Hello. Time for cleaning. Ayaya. Wait, so Oh, I'm slop. I'm sloppy. Yes. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I can clean my mop. Ew. Please don't tell me I have to change the water. Maybe in your skill tree, There's you can unlock to better tools that don't get soiled as easily. Hey, I'm here to clean up all the poop. I don't need any tools. Uh, you, you, you're you just gonna have to stand by and uh, just watch the magic happen. Oh, you'll see, you'll see. Wait, I do have to clean up the fucking water. What's my fucking mind? Alright, oh fuck, guys. <laughs> Spilled the bloody water everywhere. <laughs> you ever played Viscera Cleanup Detail? Yes, and I specifically remember hating it because I had to go like how overly realistic the cleaning is. Because you have to go and like refresh the bucket of water and, and, and they hired you to smear the blood around the house, right? No yeah, they wanted a uh, renovation. I wanted to liven up the space a little bit. Give it a little something. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I got a skin mark everywhere. Don't worry. I can clean up the doo doo. You can count on me. I can remove up to 99% of harmful part. I. That was not nice. Oh. I'm starting to appreciate the moment when I was standing. Job. Daddy need drinky. Oh. <gasps> There's money in there. Nice. <laughs> Go on the toilet paper. <laughs> Ew, 
there we go. I feel like this actually looks pretty good. Oh, wait. How does the power washer work? Pressure, I'm sorry, pressure washer. Do I need to hook it up to something? Um. fucked up but it's still pretty satisfying when i was little i used to open up my uh ms paint and draw like a, a girl with like really messed up hair a bunch of zits on her face and stuff and i would give her a makeover using like all the ms paint tools that's what we had to do back in the day for entertainment especially when your mom had to make a phone call for five fucking hours and you can't use the internet because it's dial up and it's connected to the phone line. Oh shit. I'm out of. No. No! How do I get more water? How do I get more water? How do I get more water? What do I do? What do I do? Hey, let me pull up the, the fucking manual. Uh. Tools. Pressure washer one. Okay. Change cleaning mode. Uh, pick up a lens. Okay. Uh, put, put, uh, put it down. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the water level in the station is an important aspect of the pressure washer. Water runs out for some time, and you can monitor it by looking at the station and the tank. Your water level is in the blue line. This is a sphinx. The water is in the blue line. The same way as the bucket. See the pressure washer is the water station. We sit in the place. So we will make our decisions. We will make Oh, so I had the right idea. I just didn't line it up properly. Oh, like that. Go, 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 go. Nice. Hasta la vista, baby. Right, did I miss any spots? Oh, yeah, the mirror. And the table. And the hamper. Wait, I can easily spray off all the blood that I got on uh, everything in here. You're too far? Oh shit! I was thinking, like, what if I do, like, an infinite water glitch? Leave it attached to the... this thing. Shit. Okay, let me bring this bad boy out here. Let me roll it on out. People have to clean up after crime scenes. Do they get so desensitized to it that it just feels like normal cleaning and they get like exasperated and like bored? It's like cleaning up liters and liters of disgusting, goopy blood. Do they get like. Okay, I've explained this feeling before and I, I feel like an insane person. I don't know if anyone else relates. I don't know if it's like a... Just a me thing. But sometimes when I'm washing dishes or doing some kind of like tedious chore... Especially if I'm standing up. But it's like... It's only when I'm washing dishes or doing something that involves like a sink. I get this feeling... Like this frustrated... Tense feeling like I have to pee but in an angry way. I don't know how else to explain it. Do you know what I mean? Does anyone else get this feeling? It's like this feeling where it's just like, like... I feel like I have to pee. And I get like pissed off and like agitated. Like impatient. It's impatient having the pee feeling. Is it because I'm a cat? I have to mark my territory? My territory? I've never experienced that. Isn't it an anxiety thing? No. It's just like, you're doing something tedious, and you just get kind of tense, like in your sacral area. It's hard to describe. It's like...
like a yeah like a frustration feeling but it's only really happened to me while doing the dishes is it because i'm hydrophobic from having rabies wait get back here get your ass back here come on little buddy we have to go clean Ooh. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't want to spray off my beautiful blood table. It's, it looks so cool. Oh, my work. Mysterious ways. Can't waste any droplet of water in this game. So how else am I supposed to clean that shit? Huh? Eh? They're all dead. We're, are they gonna be like, oh no, my my favorite coffee cup that I got from Target? I can't help you while I'm lying down. <laughs> lying down like a fucking gutted fish. Just stare at the ceiling and think about England. I was doing this when you said that, and I had to pee. Yeah, it's like... It, it feels similar to like having the pee, the like having the pee, 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 pee feeling. It's like when you do like a Kegel, but like... like... Imagine you're like clenching a fist in frustration, but imagine that like in your pee area. When you're doing the dishes. Has that ever happened to you? Your pee area. Anyone else having funky feelings in their pee area? These days, I don't know. I just keep having funky feelings in my pee area, and I don't know how to describe it. I think I have a kidney stone. Now that I think about it, yeah? Are you serious? Like, for realsies? I'm not alone? Like, you're just standing, doing the dishes, and you're like, Oh god, this is so te- <laughs> The floor looks interesting. But Mark Castle, like that. that's him! The guy who cheated on his wife. He, bro, he had it all. He had money. He had a big family. A wife. He just threw it all away. And for what? Oh man, I'm sputtering. Oh jeez. This never happens to me. I'm sorry. It must be nerves. Okay, let's take this thing back. I just noticed that I can no longer perceive my pee area. Did you get like cut in half by a magician? When I was little, I thought that they actually did cut people in half. It made me so scared. I had to leave the theater when watching a magician live once. And my dad laughed at me the entire time. I think it was like a... Fuck, was it David Copperfield? I think I saw like a David Copperfield show live in Grand Rapids when I was like four or five and I got so scared. He just makes it look so real. Okay, bug. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna clean it off. Oh no, our table! It's unblooded. Okay, who unblooded my table? Come on, if, if someone fusses up to it, I won't be mad. Come on. Spoiler alert, I will be mad and I'll be very, very mad. I'm gonna kill you! Ah! Yeah, it looked really nice. I don't like this color of wood. It just doesn't really suit this kitchen area. It looks kind of unfinished and stupid and lame and bad. First things first. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, 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 scrub. This guy is too gleeful about what he has to do. Don't you have a sick daughter and a dead wife? Come on, man. He's giving me the ick. When the crime scene cleaner tries to be all cute. And it's scrub, 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 everybody. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, now that can go back in there. That can Cleaning back. comes before fixing. There we go. Ew. First things first. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh, I missed a spot. I could just use the sponge on this, but I'm fucking lazy. Okay. This one's like Saikuno. Wait, where is that thing? Oh, here it is. Initializing yeah. process of purification. Yay! Let's Just go. Saikuno will purify everything. Does this thing actually do anything? What is it? Is it supposed to make it easier to mop up everything? I don't really notice the difference. I love doing the dishes. Cleaning, the cleaning procedure finished. C cleaning, cleaning. Hello there. Hi. that game called the house house renovation simulator house uh house maker renovator people eater house flipper house flipper the flipper of the houses yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i like the cleaning in that because you have like all the tools and shit but you don't have to like walk back and forth and like refill everything and this is too realistic for me. It reminds me of why I don't like playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Because, like, every single movement in that game, just, like, walking around feels way too weighty. It, it like, adds friction to the gaming experience that just takes away from it. Ooh, money. I do like stealing things, though. That is pretty nice. Ooh, even more money. Wait, did that say Daily Doom Post? Ooh, nice. These people were living large, I see. But now they're dead large. <sighs> Where is that crawl space? I want to go in there and see what all that cash was about. Evil Shut the fuck up. Where was that? Over here? No. This is where I came from. Oh, this balcony. It's not stealing money, it's additional payment? Yeah, exactly. Like, what are they gonna do with it? Oh. Oh. Well, here it is. Oh my god. Wait, what currency is this? Is this like an exchange rate joke? Wow. Looks can be that deceiving. It's only two bucks. Is the exchange rate that bad? Yes, totally worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It all pays off in the end. Yeah. Is it yuan? Turkish lira? Huh. It's Russian ruble. Wait, what is it? I don't know what's right and what's wrong. But I need to right my wrongs. That's why I'm singing this song. Guess that's why they call it window pane. Wait, what is that? 
Is that that ogre guy? It's fine art right there. Yeah, these people were fucked in the head. Ooh. I just want to go back to my house and see if my dog still has a toaster and like several potatoes and a chair stacked on top of it. Can't really call it a soft landing. Ooh. Where was this pool chair? Where were you situated before? Oh, over here probably. I guess. Over here, I guess. Ah, oh, fine. I guess you were over here. This is where you live now. Oh yeah, the daughter fell... She fell over here. Oh god! Oh Jesus! Uh, Hard to imagine losing excuse me. A child like that. Jesus, bro. Alright, time to throw her in the back of the truck. <laughs> bro, I swear to god, the pool boy had like a bulge. Equip UV lamp? No. What? See anything? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's for finding blood you missed. I thought it was like a a jism joke. Now it's stuck on your butthole. Now, now look what you made me do, okay? I got a fucking UV lamp stuck in her fucking bunghole. What kind of game is this? This is crazy to- Oh, sh oh excuse me. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, sorry, excuse- Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sh- Ah, uh, Excuse me. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder how far I can throw this girl. I'm gonna see if I can make it to one of these Roman statues. Yes! I got one of them. Okay, now... Mm, one of those trees. Almost, that was close. Let's see if I can throw her into the back of the truck from here. Sit. What the fuck? <laughs> she like phased into my body. Are you sure you want to proceed? Wait, I can just end it right here? Will they be mad? Uh... Okay, I think I did pretty good. 40% blood? That's like a... a D minus. Got rid of a lot of evidence. Uh, got rid of all the bodies. Failed! Oh. Oh, some money. Nice. Ah... Fuck, you need to do everything again? No, I don't! There's still, uh, dead bodies in the back of my truck. <laughs> Okay, I still have dead bodies in the back of my truck. It's fine. No, no, no. Watch, 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 watch. See, everything is as I left it, pretty much. For the most part. <laughs> yeah, here, here's this beautiful portrait. Yeah, I fix it up nice and good. Oh, another guitar. Over the world in that position. I got all the dead bodies. I didn't take out the trash though. Infectious waste. Can you really dissolve a dead body in acid? Does it like completely dissolve? Do you have to like keep re-dissolving it? 
to get rid of it completely? Does it turn into like a goop? Are the bones left behind? Like, can you take the bones and then just like put them in a fresh batch of acid oh. and dissolve them? <gasps> Ooh, milk! Mm. Oof. Oof. Oh, I'm gonna boop ya, look out! Here comes my little boopinator. Wait, I could've sworn... I thought I had like three bags of trash. Am I losing it? I thought I bagged up so much trash, there was only one bag? Did it all consolidate into one bag? What the fuck? This game is freaking bonkers. I don't like murder games anymore. Oh, they all combined into a big bag. Big bag, big bag, blah, 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 big bag. Have you guys ever seen that? It's like a shock website, kind of like Meat Spin, but it's just like... Someone with a really inflamed, fucked up, like, elephantitis of the balls just, like, completely, like, blown up. Like, the, the girl from Willy Wonka. Like, really, really big and swollen and fucked up looking. Like, it was, like, stung by a bee. And the guy's just, like, uh, unloading. And there's this song playing in the background that's just, like, big bag, big bag, blah, 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 big bag. I found the song before, but... I don't know if I can find it again. It's a really hard song to find. Big bag. Wait, did my... Do you leave footprints if you walk through the, the blood? I remember that from Viscera cleanup detail too. It's too fucking realistic, bro. I wanted to realistically clean blood off of a house. I would just turn around and leave my room and go into my living room. Me feel? What if I added a little bit of scrubbing bubbles to the water and it made like a fun little little bubble bath kind of moment? Oh, I'm too far? Man, fuck you. I think my power washer has separation anxiety. Guys, I think we should fuck the pressure washer. <laughs> okay, imagine your grandma <laughs> take the pressure washer into her butthole until her stomach gets really, really big and bouncy and gurgles every time she walks. And she just goes, ooh, the entire time. I want to do like a call in talent show stream like that jinxie guy did but do it with like people doing impressions of what their grandma sounds like when she's scared and then whoever wins gets like a $100 gift card to Cracker Barrel which was my grandma's favorite place to eat that and uh this other place called Tony Roma's. It always gave her really bad diarrhea, but goddamn, she loved that place. And I loved, loved going into the bathroom after her after she ate there. It just kind of felt kind of balmy, kind of humid. The temperature in there skyrocketed after she left. She had the toilet with the blue water in it and the carpeted area below the toilet, so it kind of hung on to the, the smell in ways that tile doesn't typically do. So I'd spend a lot of time there, my grandma's house. Tony Roma's! Now, is this a place that had like, uh... Like bushes on top of the, the building? Like on the ceiling? Not the ceiling, the roof. Did you get down and sniff it? Yeah, I would crawl into the bathroom on all fours after my grandma left. Not after she died, but after she just left. <laughs> I would like rehearse, like... <laughs> my grandma dying, like my reaction to it. <laughs> Sometimes I think about things like that and imagine like... There has to be someone that's so like fucked up mentally that would actually do something like that, like... 
reacting to my grandma passing away? <laughs> Ah, no, I gotta try again. I need to be more shocked. Sounds like something Jake Paul would do here. Yeah. <laughs> but he'd find a way to scam people while doing it, too. Which is honestly kind of based. I kind of did that. <laughs> what do you mean you kind of did that? You had like a, re a rehearsal for... Reacting to your grandma passing away? Did you have your grandma like act out? Just being like, Ugh. no, grandma, no, you, you, you have to keep your eyes open. That's Hollywood stuff. People, people don't keep their eyes closed when they die. And you have to let me close your eyes and like shudder a bit as I do it. Maybe put my finger on your, your mouth and go, shh, it's okay, you can rest now. Maybe there's a Tony Romas in heaven waiting for you. <laughs> Pick me up, human. Wait, I think I got most of the blood in here. I want to see, like, what is the minimal amount of work I can do to pass this? Because that's basically what I do with my life. You gotta work smarter, not harder, you know? Oh, fuck, my power washer is g g g gone I can't take over the world in that position. <laughs> uh, POV, you, you and uh, Napoleon Bonaparte are doing a nasty and... <laughs> He, uh, you, you try to do, uh, uh, fucking, uh, I put my pressure washer. Napoleon's boner part. Wait, did it not, like, zoom its way back into my inventory? No. My oh. pressure washi, where did it go? Where's my pressure washi? Oh, here it is. Oh, fuck. I'll be taking that. By taking candy from a baby. Oh, my sponge is all freaking dirty. What kind of world is this? What is this fucking world? What is this fucking world? Fuck! I can't take over the world in that position. POV, you and Napoleon Bo you're you're sucking on Napoleon Bonaparte's arena from behind. And yada 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 yada. Taking candy from a baby is actually quite difficult because of its iron grip. Yeah, I've actually heard that about babies, that they're surprisingly pretty strong. And their fingernails are very sharp. They can be lethal. So you gotta watch yourself around those things. You can't be too careful. Always keep your eyes on a, your head on a swivel, your eyes on your back. I could beat a baby? I don't know, I think you're underestimating them. Bro, have you ever seen those videos of like a bodybuilder, like really, really beefed up bodybuilder doing uh, arm wrestling with someone who's like way smaller and doesn't look like they've been weightlifting very much, but they just have the perfect technique and the perfect grip and they just like completely demolish the bodybuilder? That, but with you trying to beat up a baby and you're the bodybuilder, the baby is the smaller, skinny guy. And the baby's on trend. They just come out naturally like that. That's why I feel like people like Liver King, people who give like really, really into steroids, maybe for them it's like a return to the womb. Because like a mother's breast milk has like the same kind of effect on the body. Like it gives you like 
It gives you super immunity, gives you like super strength. You're like invincible. Oh, here, let me move this. Please tell me there's another refill station up here so I don't have to go all the way downstairs. Calm and live, laugh, love. Man, I feel bad that she died. Anyone else feeling bad? Yes, there is a refill station. Let's go. Actually, I heard there was a scientific study. That, like, sniffing someone's, like, ovulation fumes will increase testosterone production. And it's like taking steroids. But, like, naturally. Kind of like when a dog smells like a female dog's, like, pee. And it just starts, like, foaming at the mouth and gets, like, super aggressive and fucked up. Like, there's, like, a full moon and it's just, like... <laughs> But you can channel that primal energy into the beating of a baby. Okay, where's that goddamn bathroom? Oh yeah, I forgot about the gamer guy's room. Ooh. Why does he have all these cartons of milk? Guess he really, really liked milk and dinosaur bones. Oh, he's got a, a bone. Are these real people? Are these like the developers? Consider this a warning to everyone who's been living the gaming life. This is what awaits you. Especially if you're a stoner gamer and not a straight edge gamer. Wait, can I play the drums? Aren't you a gamer? No, I told you guys, I have barely any time for gaming. I game as like a, a frilly little like frivolous fringe hobby. I can't even consider it a hobby. It's just like a way to waste time in between doing dishes and uh, <laughs> harvesting lavender in my farm out back. Harvesting my own seasonings, my own wheat for flour. Uh, crushing up the, the flour with a, a donkey in a windmill somehow to turn it into potable flour. So that I can make pancakes from scratch at 5 a.m. before Ethel gets up for work. You've seen your gameplay? Hey, remember what I said about saying anything about my gameplay and me getting a... Interior design. I get Ash. one license every time I see someone say something about my gameplay in chat. Someone being wise. Someone getting a big head on their shoulders like, oh, this is so painful to watch. I get one free license to have an intrusive thought about tying your grandmother to the train tracks and hearing her get really scared for at least five minutes. And it's in black and white too. And there's like kind of like cheesy, goofy, evil villain music playing in the background. And I just like twiddle my mustache and I look down at her and I say, You just, this is all because of what your grandchildren did. They're not the angels you think they are. They said mean things to me on the internet, and now... Now, look what, where that got them. I'm gonna give them something truly painful to watch. Oh, yes. And then I take your grandma to Tony Roma's and I get her really filled up on the greasiest, sodium-filled, lactose-filled, dairy, greasy cheese concoctions. I just pick out the, the worst things that old people can eat off the menu until she gets like really gurgly, her stomach gets really full, and she she goes, Oh my heavens. I'm gonna make your grandma say, Oh my heavens. Hear her stomach start to, uh, to gurgle and rupture a little bit. And I'm gonna put her right in front of you. You're gonna be on a chair, forced to watch as your grandma digests all that food from Tony Romer's. 
You're gonna have to hear and watch your grandma digest her food and she's gonna be rubbing her belly the entire time and groaning and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Can't even give her her Bethel-Bismol. You're gonna be helpless. You're gonna think like, what can I do to help? I don't know what to do. Oh, kind of like me when I was fighting the fire giant, huh? When I was asking for help and nobody, nobody thought to help me. Now, how does it feel to be helpless in the face of such a thing? Grandma making sick hot farts. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop it. It's gonna be the kind of fart that comes out feeling hot. <laughs> Video games. They were Mongolian cartoons. Up and down? Like a mistress in mastering the ups and downs of a composition, the leader adeptly navigates the complexities of societal and the, the geopic geopicical challenges. I see. I didn't play this game for a freaking history lesson. I'm so tired of all this politics in my games. God damn it. And then next you're gonna tell me that they made the characters uglier and now I can't jack off while I play. God damn it. Is it too much to ask for a b politically free jacking off field world? What kind of world is this? What kind of world are we living in? What is this world? I really want to watch the episode of South Park where Cartman makes that guy eat his own parents. And Radiohead shows up and laughs at him, like actual Radiohead. Like they actually got every member of Radiohead to come and voice act as Radiohead in the show. Did I get every bit of blood in here? You're telling me that they can scan in an actress's face into the video game. And make it one to one in Japan, but in America, when they do it, they have to make her look ugly and detestable and like someone I just want to fucking kill. God damn it! All right, I think this area where this chair is so dirty. Look at that. We'll we'll write our wrongs. Give it some time. Now we can take care of all this trash. And we'll have so many fun little trash bags to take out. Pull out the bag. There we go. So does it all just change into one big bag? Pick me up, human. Oh, this is over on the floor. That bull statue. American games have abandoned coomers? It's not true. It's not true! I think all of that is literally just a industry psyop. You don't understand. Everyone's falling for it. They're pulling the wool over your eyes. They're doing the whole thing over the last few years where it's been like... Oh god, like, I guess games aren't allowed to be sexy and cummy anymore. God damn it. So it's like a dry spell for like several years. Everyone's getting angry and pissed off. And then suddenly they release a game that is cummy and sexy. And everyone's like, oh, hell yeah. Now I'm going to buy this to stick it to all those feminazis. Hell yeah. And games are based again. Hell yeah, but uh, tons of people buy it. Where is back in like the early 2000s, the mid 2000s when like Almost every single game was like that. It was oversaturated, wasn't it? People weren't as excited about that shit. Back then, it was just like, oh, it was just normal. You go into fucking Blockbuster and there's just like, oh, Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball 5 or whatever the fuck. Every single game was like that. They realized that the market got oversaturated with that shit. And they're like, you know what? 
let's make a dry spell for the shit, get people really mad, and then out of nowhere, like 10 years later, release a game that has a boob and butt in it. And then tons of people will buy it, thinking that it's like a, a way to pwn people. Instead of just uh, buying it because they want to play a fun video game. It's genius. It's what they're doing with soy milks too. Getting everybody hooked on the soy milks and then there's this like fringe group of people that's like really pissed off about soy milk. This then is game regular milk is gonna again. make We're a gonna comeback. See another flood of YouTubers with furry avatars complaining about feminism destroying Western civilization. Bro, my rant Sona would definitely be like a dude with a suit and like maybe like a really like chill laid back kind of hairstyle. Um, but my face would be like this the entire time. Yeah, or to have like a, a, uh, a human body in a suit with an animal head. Yo! Lift me up, mortal. Lift me up before you go, go. Must be crazy, like a fox. I'm getting so confused. You can see some of the trash through the walls, and I keep thinking I can grab it up with my little grabby hands. Did I make this up or was there a story, like a children's story about a raccoon that reaches into like a jar to get an olive out and gets his hand stuck in there? And it's like a cautionary tale about not being a greedy little bitch. That's Snuffy? No, it's not. Snuffy would find an uh, ingenuitive way to get into the jar to get the olive out. Come to think of it, I don't even know if Snuffy even likes olives. I'll have to ask her. Not all raccoons like olives. It's a little disappointing that you guys would immediately think that. Oh, did you see that? The, the consolidation? Consolidation in gaming. I hate olives passionately. I don't mind them on pizza when they're like sliced up and like cooked, but I don't really like raw, raw olives. They're kind of, I don't know, kind of remind me of tomatoes in texture. And the taste is just a little strange. When they're cooked and sliced up pretty thin, I feel like they can add some personality to a dish. Oh my god, I'm going to kill that fucking ocean. Man, whoever this gamer was, they really liked milk. Specifically milk with missing people on the side. Maybe it makes it taste better. Yeah, they are pretty bitter. They're way less bitter when they're cooked. A lot of guys, especially like dad guys, really like eating olives right out of the jar and peanut butter why is that such a dad thing do dads get like specific taste buds once they become a dad some people are just like dad coded before even being a dad for real like they just come out of the factory as a dad person I eat peanut butter out of the jar with a spoon? My dad did that too. My brother would eat the, uh... We would get the chocolate milk or fucking uh, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate uh, powder in the, the tube. Container. And my brother would eat it right out of there with a spoon. And he would get his like nasty saliva coated spoon in there wetting the the hot cocoa powder and leaving like a, a film of crusty saliva in there it was disgusting the worst part is i didn't know he was doing this until i made hot cocoa one day when i was like 12 and i noticed like damn like why is this so crusty is it going bad 
And the next day, I saw him, like, hunched over in the cabinet, just... ...eating the hot cocoa powder with a spoon. Like an animal. Ooh. Any other trash near? Oh, this vase? Cleaner sense. Wait, can you do this to... ...highlight all the stuff you need to do? Oh my god! Oh, that shows you where to put back up! Oh, I need to put this over here. I see, I see. I see, I see. Wait, how do I get this? It won't, it won't. I can't grab it. I can't grab it. I can't get the cap off. Shit. Okay, let's find some more trash. Some more fucking garbage. Oh. Lift me up, mortal. Whoa! It just shows you everything with the, the cleaner sense. So senseless. Oh, uh, cute. What the fuck is that? Is that more blood? Oh, hell no. Do they have upgrades? Yeah, there's a skill tree. I wonder if I could put anything into it right now. Mob... I have zero available points. You can increase your mop microfiber, the, the strength of it, resistance. Increase your cleaning speed. Upgrade your spans. Your pressure washer. Increase the capacity of the water. That would be nice. We need to collect more evidence. Oh. <laughs> it says you can hold to collect multiple, but... It doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe it's only when there's like two things really, really close by to each other. Ew, no. Like this? Oh, yes! That works. Oh, yes. Guys, I'm hungry. What time is it? I didn't want to stream too late. I'm sorry I started so late. I usually stream earlier, but today... It was gonna be Ethel's day, but he was feeling under the weather. So now here I am. Just stinking up the place. Just stinking up your freaking twitch.tv feed. God, I want pizza so bad. That looks so good. Wait, did this pizza... Did it clip through the ground and now I can't get it? Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is Mr. Ethel gonna die? No, no, don't say that. He'll be okay. Dental stuff just sucks. I'll, I'll take good care of him. I feel so bad. Especially since, like, I just went through that with my wisdom teeth, so I know firsthand, like, fresh in my memory how much it fucking sucks. But at least, like, uh, I'll know better how to help him when he's done with his procedure. Like, uh, really nice soft foods he can eat that I can prepare. I can make him, a uh, special pumpkin spice oatmeal. Oh, and I, I learned a hack. Because I couldn't have solid food for a while. I had to have only liquids. So I would order broth from the nearby ramen restaurant. Because they had like uh, pork bone broth, chicken broth. It was so tasty. And really, really easy to eat. Especially when you're feeling sore. And it's a really good uh, source of antioxidants and helps with inflammation and stuff. And it's just like, it's nice and warm so it feels good on your inflamed mouth. Can't have it too hot, though. Pull that bag out. Pull that bag I right out. Mortal. Okay, that is fixed. Wait, stay! Stay! Ban painting! Ban! Do 
Did you get the runs only eating liquid? No. Can that happen? I mean, I had like yogurt. That's like somewhat solid. Oh, look at what the fuck it. What is the, uh, what's this air freshener for? But that is above my freaking pay grade, I think. Yeah! Yeah! Ah. Take that! That's what you get! Cushioning the fall of a dead body. Fuck you. You ruined everything. I wanted to see that thing explode. Oh shit, that one needs to be busted up more. Methinks our job is not quite done yet. Okay, so I'm at like over halfway of getting rid of the trash. I think that's pretty good. And these mafia guys are really strange. They have like a fapping area in the garden outside. It's the only way you can get away from your fucking wife. Oh, I hate my stupid wife so fucking much. I never understood that. Like in the uh, mafia media, they always be cheating on their wives. As like, uh, oh yeah, I'm just such a powerful man. I can have all the women, every woman. Isn't it more powerful to be a man who just like is completely loyal to his wife? Doesn't that show more power? This wood is making me hungry. Wait, what do I do with this? Oh, I see. It's just greed. Guess that's what all that money does to a person, huh? The money and power. Ooh. Oh wait, I need my big tool for big problems. Where's my big problem? Are you my big problem? Shit. Fuck. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. Houston, we have a big problem. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I think I locked you out of the spaceship and I don't know how to open up the airlock again. Ah, uh, whoopsies. I can't hear you screaming. Sorry. I wish we could clean up all these gosh darn leaves. What's the breeze? Doorway is on these, on these, on that. I will say this is a pretty nice little patio area. I like the greenery. Oh, and these are, uh, I think these are morning glories. I love those. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Thank okay. you. Let's combine our trash. Oh, big trash bag, big bag. Big bag, big bag, big bag. I'm never gonna find that video again. Oh yeah, this game is pretty similar to Thief Simulator. Isn't that the same developers? Seems like they have the same assets and everything. I'm gonna make your grandma meow for me. <laughs> oh, 
God, I wish my grandma was still alive. I would ask you to do stuff, stuff like that. I would like have her on stream and like ask you to do Ara Ara and stuff. Not in like a weird way, just because it's like funny imagining someone from a completely different generation doing stuff like that. It's so out of left field for them. Can any of you guys like... Can I live vicariously through you and just like call up your grandma and ask her to meow? Like, be like, Grandma, can you do your best meow? Like, your best cat impression? I wanna hear what that's like. Do you think a grandma could be really good at that? You think she'd think it's like whimsical and silly, or would she get sundary about it? I've been trying to get my grandma to meow for me. It's not going well so far. Any advice for it? Put sleeping pills in her coffee. Okay, where's the other trash? Any more trash for me to worry about? I need to collect more evidence too. Wait, I have 93% of the blood on the first floor wiped up. Ooh, this room is not looking so hot though. Let me get out my handy dandy power washer. That'll take care of that. For the most part. And then, uh... Ooh. Oh. There's a lot of blood that I missed. I didn't even notice. It's so bright. Young money. Okay, put this back. Go back. Okay. Get out! I don't want to see you anymore. Keeping calm is the best I can do. You will have to shout, but she would meow for you if you meow at her first. Oh, like just like walk up to your grandma and be like meow, meow, it meow. That's like the ultimate test of how cool your grandma is. Will she meow back at you if you meow first, or will she just look at you funny and be like a stick in the mud? Man, I'm never gonna know if my grandma would meow for me or not. I feel like she would. She was a really nice lady. Maybe like do all kinds of animal impressions, like the whole farm. A pig, a cow, a goat. What animal do you think your grandma would be best at doing an impression of? Oh, I think I need to get rid of all these pizza boxes. Do I? Oh, I guess not. I guess... They're just part of the decor. I see. Oh, this shit is all busted! Oh! Oh, bother! Oh! Wait, does this go here or... Oh, I gotta rotate it. Ah! Okay. And then this goes here. And then, oh Jesus, sorry. Then this gamer chair right here. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no, I broke everything. I'm so clumsy. Uh oh. Put that there. Throw this away. Wait, I see a bloody footprint. A bloody footprint. Oh my stars. A whale. A turkey. A kangaroo. What does a kangaroo even sound like? They make sounds? I feel like that would be kind of terrifying. Take photos in swimming pool. I wonder why I have to I do that. that take photos. Do I have a camera? Exposonator. Lamps. Garbage day. Um. Um. Tools, actions, hacking, breaking, cracking, places, Mr. Kowalski, UV lamp, um, how do I take pictures? <laughs> what the fuck?
I walked past a field full of kangaroos once. They just stared silently. That's terrifying to think about. Especially if it was at night and their eyes are just glowing in the dark. Um. Um. Uh. See? For camera? No. Urex. Uh, collectibles. Does it mean literally take photos? Like there's photos laying around and I have to take them physically into my pocket? Or, uh, stand right here and, uh, interact? Oh, I see. Oh. 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 Ah! Take photos in the basement. Oh! Let's go to the basement. Oh my god, I thought I saw someone on the stairs, but it was just a fucking reflection from the... Oh my god, for dinner tonight? I really want to get a bunch of, like, a buttload of dumplings. All kinds of dumplings and like meat buns and stuff. It sounds so good. I'm so hungry. My stomach is fucking eating itself. The only thing I ate today was an Uncrustable. Those things are so expensive and there's only four of them in a fucking box. I bought them yesterday and they're already gone. We're fucking dying. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> what would a roasted penis? <laughs> Roasty toasty Venus. Venus roasting on an open fire. Jagvan nipping at your nose. Where's the fucking basement? Where is it? Where is it? Oh shit, I gotta clean up all this blood down here. Um, well, wait. This was not a drill. A bloody power drill and the bloody nails. Nails. I mean, drill bits. How the fuck am I supposed to know the difference between a monkey wrench and a regular wrench? Okay, now we have to take photos here. That. Nice, nice. Take photos on the first floor. Okay, don't mind if I do. Where do I stand? Wait. That's not the first floor, that's the second floor. Uh, what? Isn't this the second floor? Am I, am I stupid? Wait. Oh, ground floor. I thought the first floor was just the... The first floor. Am I stupid? Is this like a European thing? List me up mortal. Leave the crime sign when you're ready. Wait, I still need to collect more evidence. What am I missing? Oh. The speaker. Jeepers, creepers. Where did this chair used to be? Was it here? Oh yes, it was. Oh yes indeed. The dark soul of man. Get, 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 rotate, rotate, you bitch. Rotate, you fucking bitch. Oh, this needs to go... Where the heck would this go? How many freaking symbols do you need as a drummer? That's just unnecessary. What is this supposed to be? Jenkum? This bottle right here? Looks nasty. Getting high off your own supply. In the worst sense of the word, I guess. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ah, I gotta get out of here. Oh. Joyful nihilism. Is that what makes oh. this whole ride worthwhile? <laughs> So 
cool ride. <laughs> it's been a crazy ride living my life. And living a crazy fucking life. The fuck is the rest of the evidence? Where are they keeping it? Oop. Oh, here's my buckets. Wait. <gasps> what is this? Microwave magic? Oh, it's a cooking book specifically for microwave cooking. Have you ever made a microwave cake before? They're actually pretty fucking good. Like in a mug. I can't Don't get scammed and buy the pre-made mug cake mix. You can just make your own. It's so easy. If you want a little treat. Little treat hack for you. I'm biomaxing. I'm hacking my digestive system. I have leaky gut syndrome. It has to come to an end. Somehow. Some way. If you'd ever bought these, maybe you could have saved your family. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. This guy is way too cheeky. For having a dead wife. He needs to have like a, a somber moroseness to him. That only a guy with a dead wife can have. I can't take over the world in that position. Shit maxing to biomax. Yes, you have to consume more biofuel. Make your shit more powerful, more girthy. Improve texture and consistency. And aura. Does your shit have aura? If you need to ask yourself that, then it probably doesn't. Can we help human? Oh! Ooh. Back. There you go. I'm starting to smell my <gasps> Money! Wake up, wait, 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 this is like a back door. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I see, I see, I see. Um... Is there evidence in here? No. What about in the bathroom? Be careful, don't... Oh, no, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, there's a key! The laundry key. Maybe there's evidence in there. I gotta throw away all this trash, though. Basura and Feciosa. Sounds like I just casted a spell. Like the Harry Potter slur wall. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, that trash is taken care of. There's one more, I remember. It was in the... Was just... the, the place with the chair and the table. You know, you know the one. Place where you sit sometimes when you're eating sometimes. Could you like shit into a mold? Like a cookie cutter mold and it would like form to it? It have to have like you have to have pretty pliable, malleable shit. It have to be pretty soft. Like could you put a mold into your toilet and make like a little cookie cutter cut out of your shit? Like a star cut out, or maybe like a heart. Yeah, and let it dry in the in the sun. Yeah, like the Etsy poop cookies. Yeah, those were real. Don't ask me how I know. Hmm. I got the laundry key. There is a door. Where was it? We must discover. Was it this room? Yes. Oh! <gasps> what's this? What's all in... What's all this about then? Ooh, more stuff to steal. Quite a lot of treasures to plunder in here, but... Not very much evidence to be seen. But I'll take it. Ooh. What? What the fuck did he just do with that toothbrush? What, did, what was that? Why did it make like a Minecraft skeleton noise? It hit. I 
I'm gonna prank them by putting it in the toilet. Now you have toilet water on your toothbrush. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. This will not do. Go, 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 go! Have you guys ever used a water pick before? I got one and I, I have to use it. It was prescribed to me by my dentist. I tried to use it once, but it just sprayed everywhere and it hurt. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I heard they're really good, really optimal for cleaning your gums. Better than flossing, even. She said I could do it in the shower. It could be easier. Because then you don't have to worry about the water spraying all over you. While you're like bent over the sink. Yeah, it's, it's really weird to get used to. The water comes out way faster than I expected, but I guess it kind of has to. It's like literally power washing your teeth like this. Like... <laughs> but in like a more direct, like a... Uh, concentrated stream. I used to think I was so clever by brushing my teeth in the shower. That's actually like ingenious though. Cause then you don't have to worry about the toothpaste getting all over yourself and having to clean your face off when you're done. I don't know. I've always been too scared to brush my teeth in the shower. <laughs> Cause I just I don't know. I feel like what if the the toothpaste spills on me and like burns me? Cause it's all minty and shit. What if it gets in my butt crack somehow? And I have toothpaste butt crack. Never gonna find other fucking evidence. Where is it? Where is it? And this is still four out of five. Oh my god, my stomach. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I just made a, a little roar. Like a little lion cub practicing its first roar for the first time. Did you ever used to play uh, lion cubs with your friends as you were a kid, or were you a fucking loser? If you didn't LARP as a pride of lions with your friends in elementary school... What the fuck were you doing? No, I wasn't gay. It's not about being gay or being a furry, it's much more than that. It's elevated. You never played pretend and pretended to be like a little pride of lions and... You like went through your entire like life cycle, like you were just like, Okay, I'm a lion cub and I was just born. Okay, I, I was just born too. We're in the same litter of lions. I'm from a rival litter of lions, but I'm gonna come by and be friend with you guys. But my lion parents are going to get upset with me because we're like warring lion clans. Okay, yeah. And then, uh, we'll, we'll be really upset because you get, uh, exiled. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice my lion roar. Cause I'm going, I'm a boy lion. Oh, here's some more evidence. This is the hammer that was used to kill this man. Handy for breaking bones. Nice. I didn't notice that. Alright, I'm gonna practice my lion roar. And you like get on all fours and you're like... <sighs> um, you have some work to do on your roar, I think. Oh yeah? Let's hear yours, Jennifer. Well... <sighs> <sighs> And then, like, another kid comes by, and they're like, Who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm from a different pride of lions that's from, uh, the dark side of town. And we're, like, we're kind of sequestered off into the dark lands. We're not allowed to come here, but I'm coming by anyway. Because I'm, like, a bad boy. Oh, okay, okay. And then, and then we have to start to fight. We're starting to fight. But then... But then a gazelle goes by, and it's like, Oh, sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go get some food for my family. Is this just Lion King 2? Exactly. If you never, with your group of friends in elementary school, pretended that the entire plot of Lion King 2, or, like, the first Lion King movie, by, okay, having one person on the top of the slide, another person on the slide dangling with their, like, hands being held by the top person, and going like, no, no, don't let me go, don't, no. And then they let you go and you slide down the slide dramatically, like on your stomach. And you have to pretend to die. Long live the king. 
Brother, help me! You were born like 10 years earlier. You would have been in a Warrior Cat RP group in middle school. <laughs> I thought Warrior Cats caught on... <sighs> Wasn't... I think that was when I was in middle school. People were really getting into Warrior Cats. I like the part where you clean each other. Yeah, 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 exactly! Where you like... Oh, pretend to like groom each other like cats do. And then... The part where you pretend to bring back prey, but it's just like a bunch of grass in your mouth and you're just like running on all fours in the playground. Oh, this blood is a little... Pour detergent into the bucket? No. Mm, no. I think my work here is done. Did anyone else have a special tree in their um, elementary school playground? It would have like a, a little crevice in it that you could hide stuff in, and like a dirt, like a dirted area around it where everyone kind of convened. It's like a meeting tree, and everyone would like sit there and like dig into the dirt and like pretend to be some kind of tribe. <laughs> like a tribe of lions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would always have like really big roots. Okay, this has to be a pass. This has to be not failure. If it's failure, I will be shocked. Okay. All right. Whoa! Perfect! 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 Superb! Oh! Impressive! Oh! Thank you, kind sir. Can't wait to go see my dog covered in the uh, trash. Ooh, and all the stuff that I stole. <gasps> I made buko box! Loads and loads of money. Damn, that was just the prologue. Okay, I mean, that's a fair shake. I think if I took Adderall today, I would have played this game for like 20 hours straight. So it is, it is a good game for that. I enjoyed the cleaning and uh, the deception. I really want to know more about the backstory with this guy's dead wife and his sick daughter. He's like the guy from Clanad. Uh, no one in specific. I don't want to spoil anything. There's like a... There's a side character in Clan Ad that, uh, that, that happened to him. A, a side fringe character, not even important to the story. It was like a one-off, like one-shot episode. Like a filler episode. It was a filler episode character. And everything was fine. Yeah, it was Sunoharo, the, the weird pervy guy. There's always a pervy guy best friend character who's just a barrel of laughs. Gets tortured endlessly. That was quite same cleanup. I'm very hungry, and I didn't want to stream too late tonight. Sorry about that. I will probably be back early tomorrow morning. I might. I might stream at like 8 or 9 a.m. I might be crazy like that tomorrow. I need to go stuff my gigantic, glutinous, goblinous face with tons of fatty food. I need to go live my fat bitch life. But thank you for gaming with me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I will try to be back tomorrow. Barring any kind of uh, natural disaster or any kind of difficulties. You never know. You never know. And gaming! Yes! Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, I'll give Ethel a big hug for all of you guys. Thank you for being so sweet to him. Please, please send him lots of well wishes. He's been uh, having such a rough time with his dental situation. I hope it will get better very, very soon. Thank you, Hina. Thank you, Mrs. Hina. Granny sex gaming. Making your grandma scared. Making your grandma better feeling. Giving your grandma a big massage. Mwah. Slap him in the face, Rose, too? No! And I'm not gonna give, her, give him your fucking gooning updates, either. Maybe, okay, maybe if I can find a way to send updates like that through Carrier Pigeon, that would be pretty funny. Imagine a pigeon landing at your windowsill with like a little rolled up letter. 
and like an ancient scripture kind of deal. You unroll it and it just says like, I jacked off today. I gotta figure that out. Can you even still do that? Are pigeons allowed in Los Angeles? The other day, I saw like, I shit you not. I don't know if they're like native to this area or if they literally escaped from someone's house. I saw two parakeets flying by and they're like, <laughs> And I, I couldn't tell if they were fighting or like trying to romance each other midair. They were both bright green. Yeah, somebody is uh, somebody in LA lost their parrots. There's flocks of parrots in Pasadena. It was a pair of parakeets, or maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it was like lovebirds or something. All I know is they were very small and bright green. They escape and build flocks in the wild. Oh, that makes sense. I wonder if they can talk like Polly. Holly want a cracker? Holly want a fucking cracker? <laughs> okay, let's find someone to read. Oh god, why did the music have to get silent as soon as I said that? <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck off. Close the game, close the game. Close the fucking game. <laughs>